YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Rob, Spray Splash Fragrance Reviews. I've got a fragrance that I just got in the mail that I really want to bring to you guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, I recently received a fragrance in the mail that is the result of a collaboration between Stephen Redolescens and the late Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. All right, so he was a person, speaking of Carlos, that I think a lot of us in Fracom really enjoy watching his videos. He had the spark, and uh, I think a lot of us were saddened to hear of his recent passing. I don't really want to dwell on that, but I really wanted to bring this fragrance to my channel because it's actually a really good release. You know, sometimes when the uh, reviewers do fragrances, they could be hit or miss. And I, I really believe this is a hit, you know, and I really wish that Carlos could have been around to see this fragrance. So I'm gonna give a big up to Steven because he's, you know, still with us making videos. And he did a, he did a tribute video and then he did another video kind of promoting this fragrance. And I know it's limited bottles and he spoke so, he spoke so well about this fragrance that I just had to go in and, and purchase it when I saw that video. So I purchased it, the, the fragrances arrived. Um, again, it's Red Brook Parfums. It's the underground edition. And uh, it's a nice presentation. It's got a nice card on the inside and it's signed. And this is bottle 461 of 1000. And this is the fragrance right here, okay? And this is what the card uh, basically says. It says, the veins of New York City run underground and transport the lifeblood of the metropolis. This energy is the inspiration behind the collaboration among creative director Steven uh, Gavarillos, if I pronounced that wrong, please forgive me, Carlos G. Powell, Brooklyn fragrance lover, and the fragrance expert at the Society of Scent. The brightness of tangerine and ginger capture the spirit of those who breathe vitality into, into the community. Pink pepper adds its unspoken mystery and aura of intrigue. The composition beautifully concludes with the robustness of patchouli and the vigor of Haitian vetiver. A seductive finish of sultry vanilla, uh, sir, absolute, and chocolate create allure and incite a state of olfactory bliss. We thank you for being a part of our journey underground or otherwise so um man this is a really nice one this is going to be one that i think people are going to really enjoy and in my opinion it's a great fragrance for spring and summer really for summer um i sprayed this fragrance on my hand at about one o'clock 1 30 and again this is a first impression i haven't really given this fragrance any serious wear but as soon as i got it in i gave my hand a couple sprays to see what it smelled like. And that was again around 1.30 and it's currently about eight o'clock where I am and the fragrance is, is still there. It still smells good. And what I remember when I first sprayed it was a really natural like citrus and ginger feel. I mean, it's just like the, it was a bright, I think it was a tangerine and ginger, but that ginger was really nice and it, you know, it had this really nice clean vibe that lasted pretty much throughout most of the day. And then like towards the end of the day, the vetiver began to come out and the base and the patchouli came out and it, you know, it, it a more backbone came out. But as far as the citrus, I'm really surprised that the citruses lasted as long as they did. The citruses hung around for quite a while. And, you know, I don't know how I was gonna do when it's really, really warm out. It was about like in the mid, mid to upper 50s today where I am. But I mean, it really smelled good and I can really see this being a fragrance, you know, that I'm gonna be reaching for in the warmer weather. So I'm gonna give a big thumbs up to Steven, thumbs up to the late Carlos, Brooklyn fra fragrance lover. I think this fragrance is gonna be a winner. Um, for those, I don't know if the fragrance is still available. I wanna say it was about 120 was the price for a 3.4 100 mil bottle. Really nice presentation, really nice bottle. Really happy to have this in my collection. I feel like it's a it's a part of Fragcom history, so to speak, because it represents BFL. So um, I just wanted to bring this to you guys really briefly. You know, do your research. You can go online. You can check out the uh, 
check out the site to see if any bottles are still left. Again, it's only a thousand. Um, I think it was redbrookparfums.com, but I can't say for certain. I'll put it here so you guys can go check it out if you if you want to. You know, who knows? Maybe if it's a success and the uh, first one thousand bottles sell out, maybe they might do an extended, you know, release. Not really certain, but you know, I'm really happy to have this in the collection. And you know, I think a lot of people are gonna like this fragrance. So big up to Steven. If you ever happen to get a chance to see this video, thanks so much. I really appreciate the fragrance. Uh, you know, as far as you and Carlos putting your minds together and your taste together and putting something that you knew that we would love in Fragcom. And um, you know, just 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 so you guys know, I paid for this bottle. This wasn't a gift, uh, but I just wanted to to do this video because I felt compelled, and it's really quality juice. So if it's quality juice, I want to bring it to people that watch my channel. So thank you for checking out the video. Uh, like the video if you choose. If you've never subscribed to my channel, I would ask that you would. Um, in parting, I wish you peace and blessings. Until next time, peace.